So now we're going to make a New Orleans style shaved ice. So this is our shaved ice machine. It's a pretty high tech machine and it grinds the ice down real tiny. It's a little different than what you have at home. You're not going to have something that's high tech, but you can try to make it at home with an uh, ice crusher. So first we're going to fill our cup with ice. And then we're going to pack it down with a funnel. And we're going to poke a hole in it so the syrup reaches the bottom of the cup. So today we're going to make a splattered frog shaved ice. So what we're going to do is we're going to put key lime in the middle, kind of like our frog. Now I don't know if if y'all are like me when you're little, but when I was little, me and my sister used to always sell snow cones at yard sales. Now, they weren't anything nearly as good as this. We used Kool-Aid and crushed ice, but, you know, the shaved ice kind of brings me back to when I was little. You know, all the simple times when things were just easy and you could just enjoy a simple shaved ice on a Saturday afternoon. Now, we're adding cherry to the outside to add the splatter to our frog. And then all you need is a spoon, and you can enjoy it. This is amazing. Let me tell you. But if you want to add an extra kick to it, you can add some toppings to it. So if you ever go down to New Orleans, they do this. They add condensed milk and evaporated milk on top. Or you can add marshmallow fluff, which is my favorite. And they do this up in Maryland. My, um, my boss, Nicole, she always talks about how she used to do this when she was younger, and how she'd be, you know, going down the street and she'd get a snowball with marshmallow fluff on top. Now she used to love it. And this really just brings out the taste of the snowball. <laughs> now this is how you really make a snowball right here. It may not be the same as when you were little, but trust me, it's ten times better. Mmm. You've got to come here to get something like this. This is amazing.